Well, welcome back to the Mod Showcase, everyone. Hope you guys are all excited for a wonderful new week of a very cool new mod and a whole bunch of other really awesome ones as well. Before we do get started, though, boilerplate stuff. Uh, modding is not officially supported by Frontier. When you do mod, you kind of do mod at the risk of breaking your own game. If you install something the wrong way, uh, chances are you probably might not be able to launch your game, but it's a super simple fix. Just reach out to any modder on the modding server and someone will be able to help you. Be sure to follow all the tutorials. Just know that modding, it works. <laughs> if you have an issue, the problem definitely is probably on your end. Um, and it's easily remedifiable, I guess. Enough about that jazz. Let's get right into the mod showcase with our first animal right over here. This is the Bush Dog Remaster. Now, the Bush Dog originally released by me, it was all right. You know, really wasn't the best. But good boy stepped in and did a beautiful job at bringing this creature to be what it truly was always meant to be. This creature is so adorable now. Many people don't really know that this is probably one of the only canines found in South America that isn't really a fox. Um, they have a lot of foxes down there. They don't really have any wolves or anything like that. I know that we do have the main wolves, but they are in their own kind of little realm. However, the bush dog is very unique. It's not like any other canine that we are really, like, you know, used to seeing. They're very unique. They have a very unique morphology with the very stubby tail. They look kind of like a little scrungus. I really don't know, but they are the cutest little things ever. Good boy has absolutely stepped this model up with both really, really good looking eyes, a much better nose, and just genuinely quality textures all around. And speaking of textures, you get two different texture variations. Uh, kind of happy that this guy is right over here too. We get a darker one right over here and a lighter one right over here. You can tell them apart by their kind of little icons over here. Um, it's super easy to figure out which one's which. But that is incredible job. Nice work to good boy on that one. Without further ado, we're going to jump right over here to one I teamed up with both Jen and Phonetic for. Uh, Jen for the model and Phonetic for some slight texture variations. This is, of course, the red-footed booby. I know last week, or rather two weeks ago, we checked out the blue-footed booby. Uh, but I figured, you know what? We already have a Gannet model. Why not pump out some more? This is, of course, the red-footed booby you could tell by its iconic red feet. These guys are found all over the globe, everywhere from not only the Galapagos, but all the way out over to Africa, South America. They can even be found in some parts of North America, which is kind of cool. But they are just a super awesome species. We have two different morphs over here. So we do have the brown morph right there, and we also have a beautiful white morph over here, which is probably how you're more often used to seeing them and I just really do like this kind of mix between like the face and like the sheer amount of colors and like the body texture it's just so cool just to be able to see how that comes out amazing job to Fnatic for helping me out with that and also amazing job to Jen for the model really awesome stuff over there now we're going to take a quick little look over at New Zealand. We have a lot of island animals this time. We are going to check out the Arapawa goat. This is a domestic goat that is considered endangered. Now I know many people don't really know this, but domestic species are at risk for becoming endangered and possibly extinct. Many of the times we lose breeds due to, you know, not really... I would say popularity within the farming and agricultural world, or hunting, overhunting, really, or just sheer neglect. Uh, the Arapawa goat is a cultural significant goat to New Zealand, to the Maori people who have, you know, helped to domesticate goats. Um, I'm not really sure I made the mod. It's probably in the history there somewhere. But overall, it's a really, really awesome go. I could talk about how cool it looks. Um, it has th three different skins. So you have this one over here, which has a little bit of a black belt running across the guy. You also have one right over here that is a little bit more black with a kind of yellowish belly. Very cool right over there. And we also do have... I'm not sure where the other one is. I don't really know. You guys can just trust me. There's another one over there, and it looks pretty, pretty good. But still, these guys have really unique horns. Uh, just very, very interesting angles that happens with them. It kind of looks like a... um. 
uh, like a Kosky and Tur, I want to say. I really don't know. Uh, but it's just a very unique formation of horns that I'm super proud of. Uh, this was a commission. Uh, so my good friend Jay, really awesome ZSU staff member over there, was able to commission this one and it just turned out so incredible and I'm super happy I was able to take this one on. So if you guys do want some more goats in your zoo, definitely do check out this one. It's probably my favorite one so far. We'll check out the Warthog Remaster next. This one is made by Narwhaler. It essentially just gives an, uh, Warthog a better kind of uh, mane. Uh, so it does utilize those alpha planes that we're so falling in love with recently. And overall, just general updates to the Warthog model itself just helps it look a lot better. Uh, you also get the little baby Warthog Remaster. He's super cute. Look at that. But yeah, another Narwhaler remaster. Um, always super happy to get those. And we can check out this one over here. So pardon me while I pull up this and check my notes over here while I check who actually helped me with this. Tangara. Okay, awesome. Tangara. Tangara was able to help me bring this mod to its fullest potential. This is, of course, the full green iguana mod for Planet Zoo. This mod has five different color variations. I believe it would be... And if I just check out these pictures over here, it should be the hypomelanistic, the fire, the exanthic, the pied, the albino, and of course the typical green iguana right over there. Just super awesome just to be able to get all these morphs in one mod. And it's just really, really cool. I mean, look at these guys. I love the fire one. Um, easily one of my favorite color morphs in here. Originally made by Pure Winter. Um, and kind of converted over to be its own mod, and then converted again over here to its fullest potential. Always super awesome to have that. Now, I said earlier that we had some groundbreaking mods, and that is no understatement. So, these mods, and before I get into this, these can be used in franchise mode. These will absolutely work 100% in franchise mode and will not break anything, which is incredible. So, these are the exhibit remasters by St Phonetic, Scott, and Narwhaler, and Pure Winter, I guess, too, with these ones over here. So we just checked out the green iguana, and of course, Narwhaler brought in more green iguanas. So you can see that we have all of the different variations in one habitat now. This is utilizing some little tricks that we found with the remaster mods, being able to add in as many variants as we can uh, up until a certain point. I think we can still only add in five. But you can see that we have all these new variants, especially for all these animals. A little personal taste on my end. I am not really a fan of mixing different species, uh, but let alone different families. So for some species, like um, the iguana, like it makes sense. Like that is all one species over there. Uh, once we get to the Goliath beetle, I'll actually show off that one. That one I'm a lot more comfortable with. But this one is a little bit weird. It is a little jarring to see all these different types of animals all together. But regardless, we're able to have multiple animals in a single exhibit box, which is still incredible to see. So this one over here, I believe, is the Golden Poison Frog. That is right. So you get so many different variants over here. Um, and let me just pull up my other list over here just so I could read off some of these. So the Golden Poison Frog has the Pasco Poison Dart Frog, Phantasmal Poison Dart Frog, Dying Poison Dart Frog, Yellow Bandit, and Highland Bronze. Always super awesome just to see all that different variation in these guys. But I'll show off of the ones I'm super excited to see. This one is the Titan Beetle specifically. I love their little animations, but I love the little addition that Narwhaler made over here, I believe. I think it was by Narwhaler, at least. Um, hopefully we could find them in here. It's like a needle in a haystack with these guys. Uh, so hopefully that should outline the guy right there. And yeah, there it is. It's the um, Sabertooth Longhorn Beetle, which is super cool to see. Uh, making our way down here, walking fast, faces past, and I'm homebound to the giant burrowing cockroach remaster. Uh, this one has the Cape Mountain cockroach, the northern banded cockroach, and the emerald cockroach. Really awesome in here. You got some really cool different looking bugs in here. Hopefully these will be ported over to the exhibit animal pack um, eventually. 
Uh, I know Nick and I have both been extremely busy with real life as of late, so prop packs may be a little bit slowed down, but I think some people are stepping into that prop pack scene, so hopefully we can get some more over there. This is the Lemons Poison Dart Frog, and you get so many different variants in here. Uh, you get the... Azurius Poison Dart Frog, Black and Green Poison Dart Frog, Blessed Poison Dart Frog, as well as the Strawberry and Golduf Durgory. I'm not even going to pronounce that one. Uh, really awesome species in there. Uh, here's the Amazonian Giant Centipede, where we get the Malaysian Jewel Centipede, Indian Tiger Centipede, Tan Tanzanian Blue Leg Centipede, and Galapagos Centipede. All really awesome species. Um, and yeah, just really awesome variations between these all. Really awesome splashes of color. It's just super cool just to be able to have all of these. Uh, over here, if I can actually look in here, Mexican Red Knee Tarantula. We got a whole bunch of different ones in here. But I think probably my favorite one is the Blue Baboon. So if I actually pop in right over here. And I try and search this guy. I can't even see him to begin with. Where is he? I'll just click on the little camera icon. Okay, that is not the right one. Oh, there he is. Yeah, that's a blue baboon. Really cool. I never really liked tarantulas as a kid, but I'm starting to come around to them. They're just really cool species. So we just saw those guys. And then we get to my favorites over here. This is a goliath beetle. You see, this one makes sense to me because these are all goliathus. Um, species name. So they're all under the genus Goliathus. So it just makes sense to me. I don't know. So it makes sense to see all these guys in the collective habitat. But you guys can check out the full list of species on the Nexus with the link down below. Really awesome animals to begin with. And it's just super cool just to see all of them together. Uh, this one is the Brazilian, no, nope, Goliath bird eater. So it's the big boy in there. Hell yeah. And then we also have the Brazilian wandering spider. So a lot more of like, I don't know, different ones. Always cool to see, but yeah, look at all that. You have different colors in here. I'm going to see if I could take the camera down here just a little bit closer just to see all the variations. But look at that. That is just incredible to see. Just all these different guys. Check them out. I don't know. I just, I just love to see all this variation in here. And hopefully we'll get some more along the way. We still have a lot of animals like the, um, let's actually check out that exhibit tab because I feel like that's the first time I would actually use something like this. Uh, but yeah, we also have boa constrictor that could use some morphs, all the snakes, um, the butterflies. I'll check those out in the next episode. Uh, I just want to make sure I have something saved for then, and I think that'd be a super fun one to cover. But yeah, we also have scarab beetles. You have the yellow anaconda. You can make an easy green anaconda out of that. I don't know. There's just so many possibilities with this, even the terrapin, that, um, I don't know, super excited to see where that comes up with going forward. As always, let me know your favorite mods this week in the comments down below. As always, I'm going to say my favorite is the bush dog. Just super super beautiful animal turned out incredible thank you guys so much for watching you guys are always the best be sure to drop a little bit of a like even just to help the algorithm even maybe a comment i don't really know just help me out guys <laughs> either way you guys are helping me out by just being here thank you guys so much for watching and i can't wait to see you all in the next episode take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days goodbye now